Hello, Michelle here from Lucy Chic Paper Crafts, etc. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to make a paper wreath using the Snooms collection that I showed on my unboxing video. So cute. So I am going to be using, from that collection, I'm going to be using the paper pad some of these here and there, the enamel dots, they're pearlized, and then I um, made a bow that I'm going to place at the top, and I have a die cut, so if you have, um, you can cut a bow without any fancy equipment, but if you have a bow maker, that will work perfectly. It is a one and a half inch strip across. And then this is a little snowflake die that I'm using for the center. And then I'm gonna be putting the, a little toadstool charm from the collection in the center of the die cut. That's gonna be really cute. And then what I did is I cut away from the back cover all of these images because on both the front and back cover, they give you lovely cutouts to decoupage or what not, I'm going to be using them to embellish today. So I have all of those. And I've decided that I am going to cover this with a rosette trim. And I'm going to be using hot glue. So if you use hot glue, please be careful. Disclaimer there and do not let children use hot glue. I just burned myself. I don't know if you saw my Instagram story, but I was making a floral wreath for my front door and the leaf fell just like off a tree with the hot glue on back on the back and it was like in slow mo. And I don't know if you've been burned before with hot glue, but it's kind of like uh, afterburn like he burns but then it really burns like it gets really hot so it was painful so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover this entire reef and you need six of these strips and what these are will be is a whole um, an entire 12 by 12 sheet of the polka dot so the dots that are on to the toadstools in the collection. And then they're cut at two inch strips. So a 12 by 12 cut at two inch strips from top to bottom will give you six strips exactly. And then you're going to score those strips at a quarter inch, one fourth. And if you are not very patient. I would recommend one half inch score lines. It will still be a very cute, but not so tedious to fold. So you just kind of, um, once you get them all uh, trimmed and scored, then just shape them up before you glue them down. And you're not going, Six will pretty much cover off. Uh, that's what I should do. I should definitely measure this for you. I believe it, I measured it once and it was 11 by 11. So what this is, is just chipboard cut into a circle. And whatever you have that's about 11, just don't go over you can make this wreath any size, eight by eight, 10 by 10, six by six. Just don't go over 12 inches so that you can, um, if you want to, you don't have to. 
so that you can cover it with the 12 by 12 sheets because 12 by the pad is 12 by 12. So, but it's not even going to show once you put your two inch strips around and you can put your strips in the center, but I'm going to follow the inner circle, which the inner circle, so your border will be one and a half inches. So this is one and a half inches across. And then the center ends up being, uh, looks like eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to follow this inner line to glue my, to line up my rosette and just sort of go with the shape of the circle. So hopefully my hot glue gun is going to cooperate. I believe it's heated up. I might have to push on it. It is time for a new hot glue gun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue dries quickly. It's very hot. I apologize, my hot glue gun is not. It's because what I did, I never do this, but I thought I'd try something new and glue my sticks together when I put them in there. And that, that's not working out so well, so don't do that. Just get long, long sticks. So the spring in this is not wanting to work. Really don't want to use art glue. It won't be an instant dry. Okay, I should have checked this. <laughs> it is definitely time to invest in a new hot glue gun. My husband, oh, there we go, here we go. The glue is now flowing out. My husband likes to power my hot glue guns for his stuff and his projects even if it's something out in the garage for his car. And he's not very kind. He's not very kind to it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down. See how I just line, I put my glue down generously, but be careful not to burn yourself. And then I just lined it up with this inner rim. There's that. Now I'm gonna put my second one on. Now this time, when you put another one on, you're gonna wanna join the ends, the end pieces. So, you're gonna wanna also put glue right here on this end piece. Yeah, that must have been it. I'm not gonna do that again. Um, putting, <laughs> gluing the sticks together, it kinda, it kinda created a, um, a stuck point for the glue. The glue didn't, got stuck at some point. So go ahead and you, you wanna work quickly, but you also wanna get it, because that hot glue only has so much time, doesn't it? I also want to get it on there straight. So, hot glue can be tricky. I mean, if you're careful, you can probably lift it up, but it can be tr tricky. But isn't that pretty, like a ruffle trim? So I got this rosette idea. I make paper wreaths and someone wanted to, someone I wanted to bower the idea of my paper wreath and I said, oh, absolutely. And what they did to make it dimensional is they put this rosette trim on there and it's on one of Mamie Made It's last year's Christmas videos. And what she did is she just added this rosette trim to her paper wreath and it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and bower that idea. Oops. 
and it's it's okay i mean you can usually if you have a little bit of awkwardness where you've seen them you can you can pick it back up um, i work too slow so luckily this time i work too slow and i pick it up easily see how fast that hot glue <laughs> see if the hot glue dries and you need to lift pick it up well sometimes it's a blessing It doesn't matter. The, I always like to say that you can't. I might put my bow there since that is not really cooperating. You can't fix things. Look at me, man. I'm that. I should maybe maybe what as a suggestion is work in little uh, sections so that you don't have to keep doing what I'm doing right now. But that's kind of a weird seam right there. So that is probably exactly where I will put my bow. Or, I mean, I have so many embellishments, it is totally going to cover. So, you may need to, you know what? No, I think that will be good. Yes, that will be enough. Yes, that is perfect. Yes, six is enough. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just do, I think I was working in just too big of, just too large of a section and my glue is drying. I don't, this is a, obviously with the burn I got on my leg the other day, this is a very high temp hot glue gun. So maybe low temp. I don't know. Does low temp, maybe somebody could answer in the comments. Does low temp give you more working, available working room? Like working hairspray? Is low temp, if somebody could answer that for me, is low temp, does it give you a longer working time? So I would really be curious to know that. So this piece, I'm going to stretch it a little bit. I may, let me see, do I need to make a little bit? You know, I want it to match though. I really thought that six was going to be enough and it would be if you stretch them out a little bit, but I get nervous with the hot glue. Yeah, that's going to be awkward. So scratch that. Make seven, <laughs> seven two inch strips and score them. But that's okay because then you can see me make one of the strips. So that's, which is basically exactly how you would make like a two inch stripped rosette. So if you know how to make a rosette, then you'll know how to make, you will know how to make this wreath. All right, yeah, that is just, well, wait a minute. If I put, I was gonna put my bow there, but I can put an embellishment there. All these little, where all the seams are, it's definitely, definitely gonna be some embellishments here and there. Let me see, let me see before I go ahead and make seven. No, I do, I need seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, but I don't think, I really don't think that my last one, I will be using the entire strip because there's not enough room. So that last strip, I think I'm going to make a six, two by six. Yeah, half the size of a 12 by 12 strip. Okay. All right, so, so far, and right there's that wonky bit. That is, not really sure yet. Let's see. Nope, that right there is not going to be where my bow is going to go. 
that is where my slide is going to go because my slide is going to cover that completely because my slide is going to go at the bottom of my roof so so i'm crafting with you right now i i have this is what that's the paper crafting you can fix okay so i had ideas but it's okay to change your ideas so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to cut my two inch strip but i'm only going to make this one so you're going to you know use an entire 12 by 12 sheet at two inches scored at a quarter inch or a half if you're not patient and then you're going to have a seventh strip unless you stretch them out just right and that's only on 11 by 11 reef with a eight and a quarter inch circle so you're gonna really your strips are going to be 12 inches long and a quarter inch score line but you might not depending on the size of your reef you may need more like for the 12 a 12 by 12 reef you would probably need to have all seven the same size two by 12 but for like say an eight by eight reef or a 10 by 10 reef six strips will be enough so really basically don't worry about how many strips i'm using calculate how many 12 by 12 strips your reef is going to need and if you get a little space like this a little awkward space like this just know to make it half a strip because that will fit right in there oops excuse me i need to now score so go ahead this is a trim and scoreboard by the way it's a memory creepers trim and scoreboard and it's really dirty sorry It's not all lovely and brand new looking, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and a quarter inch, I'm going to score that. Oh, it's going to be so much easier to fold half a strip than an entire. And you could, you could totally work in half inch strips. It, that also, you could totally work with a six inch strip scored at a quarter inch. And that would be a lot easier to handle with the hot glue. And, you know, and then you're just working in smaller sections. So really um, your strips and how many you'll need and where you want to score it at is really customized. You, you need to customize it to the size reef you choose to make. And you, oh, you know, if you're really cute, it's little three by threes or four by, oh yes, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And then if you do little tiny reefs for your tree as an ornament, then these, of course, you would want to make them only like one inch. Oh, that's such a, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make little tiny, that, maybe that'll be another video. I'll make little miniature ones for the tree. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh. This takes a lot of patience. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in there. Perfect. Okay, and don't stress about your seams because that's where you can put embellishments. I mean, some people are really, they can really line things up and make them all perfect, can't they? And two, you could use, um, if you used an art glue on your seams, then they wouldn't pucker. I'm just using hot glue because it's quick and for demo purposes, but if I used uh, an art glue on my seams to glue my seams, I probably wouldn't. They'd probably be a lot more uh, aesthetic. Okay, so there's that. All right, so I've got my wreath, lovely. My rosette wreath, all hot glues, they're like little spider webs. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm gonna work on my bow. I'm gonna work on my bow and get that put together. Although that is gonna be, 
Am I gonna put that on first? You know what? I think I will put my bow on first because then that way, that way I can um, determine where we think. I'll put my sled and my bow on first and then I'll work on the sides of those. So what I did, this is the opposite side of the white spotted sheet. I'm gonna use the red side for my bow. So first I need to put my die cut snowflake and if you're wondering what die cut I used, it's a jury, is it? Absolutely not, sorry, it is Momenta. It is a Momenta die cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to loop that through my bow and then glue my bow to Where's that wonky part? So now it doesn't seem that bad, but I think it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my, uh, I'm going to put my sled down at the bottom to kind of cover that wonky bit. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. So the sled is going down first and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that pretty bow toadstool charm. I'm gonna put that directly at the top of my wreath. I'm gonna do it now because sort of center it at the top there. It's cute. Yeah, I like that. A wooden doll when I poof <laughs> poof my bows back out so that'll go at the top now that's really cute and is it straight please be straight something's not straight the bow seems straight let's see I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and yes so this is pretty forgiving yes that glue is pretty forgiving. I'm just gonna scoot this sleigh over. I'm gonna peel it up. It's not ripping the paper, so thank goodness for that. So just make sure you're, you kind of line up where you want things to go. I'm probably rushing a bit, which you don't need to. Okay, so there's, yes, so that's, a lot easier to fix fix a picture and then fix a crop, right? You can just auto straight auto crop it. Okay, oh, we're gonna need to put some more glue in there. All right. Another thing, because I'm working with hot glue, it's like makes me want to stick it down really quick before I know it's straight. But you could put, you could actually line, line everything up and put little, like a marker of some sort, like put a little, you know, even a little dab of glue or a little pieces of washi, like wherever you're going to, and then, you know, peel it up, you know, peel it up and, or leave it and stick it down. That way you have little markers exactly where you want things to go. That, you know, unless you just, don't mind, you're not a super perfectionist, but I think most paper crafters are a bit of, they're just gonna kind of play with these. They're so cute, aren't they so cute? They're so cute. I'm just gonna play with these. So I think I'll put him, I'll put him, you know what? I might even, do, no, will I do that? No, cause that won't be really, I was thinking I could put some twine or strings but I don't think I'll just put him in front of like around in front of the sleigh I'm just kind of playing I have so many images here and they're all so adorable I have to see what I want to use 
part with dragging her little tree. She might be just a tad. You know what? She could go up here. Like if something's long. Oh, and then there's another reindeer. So we'll put. Oh, how cute is that? Yes, yes, yes. So we'll put a reindeer on each side of the sleigh. No twine. Okay, and then we'll just randomly. I don't know how many little gnomes. Snomes. I said gnome. Snomes. I'm going to put on here. I love the girls. The girls have to stay. They're adorable. And we have to have one snome guy. And we have to have this adorable. And we already have two girls. Those two. So we're going to have to pick and choose here. So snome with mushroom. Or just snow. Just snow. Okay, and then all of these little birdies. I have to put, these are my favorite things in the whole thing, in the whole collection. So one of these birds have to be on here. I really like this one with the presents, but she already has presents. So we may just put, I don't know if that's enough. Does that have a bird? Maybe we'll do, let's see. Okay, sorry for all the interruptions. My children are being challenging this evening. So I am going to put a little bird on this package. And then I'm going to pop a little mushroom over here by the on the snow gnome so this gnome these little snomes were designed by health couple ditch and they were turned into items that you can paper craft with by craft consortium and i think that it is just the most adorable thing i have ever seen so I am going to put these enamel dots. I haven't glued these down yet, but I'm going to put the enamel dots to sort of mimic and make these, let me see, do I want to do white or red on the toadstools? Hmm. That is curious. So the red kind of just disappears. So I am going to do white. And then it has a nice little border. That is cute. So I'm looking to see where all I can put these. The snowman button. Then the little red stitch will be covered up, but it still might be really cute. Yeah, I do like that. So that'll go there. And do I want little ball? Let's see. Do I want little do I want a little ball on somebody's hat? That might be really sweet. Let's see. Let's see if the snowman. If I put a little green. I just want to see. Because some of the top tops of the snow hats are a little too thin the way I cut them. So I may just put, oh, that's cute. I'll put a little, put a little, I do like the little stitch though on that button, but I also like that. So I'm going to put an enamel dots on the snowman. Where else could I use them? They're a little bit too large for the holly berries. Holly berry. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. So they're gonna go there. They're gonna go on the holly berry. Mistletoe. I don't. Do you say holly berry for mistletoe? I. Maybe you do. So on the mistle. Oh, and there's another mistletoe that would could benefit from a enamel dots. Look at look at how these enamel dots just embellish this collection and bring out everything so i've got the i used the toadstool charm on the bow i need to loosen that up a little bit i made it quite stiff with the huh, with the glue 
tied it just a little, you might want to give it a little slack. Give it a little slack so that it'll hang properly, but it's okay. It's still going to be adorbs. So, ooh, do I want, ooh, you know where else I could put? I could put some enamel dots. Do I, which color do I want to use? I could put some, oh, how cute, how sweet is that? I could put enamel dots on my Christmas tree, couldn't I? Oh, look at lovely, lovely. All right, so, yep. Enamel dots are gonna go on the Christmas tree. Oh, yes, we're just gonna. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that lovely? It just really, and all these ideas, you know, that I'm throwing out there can be um, put on a tree. I mean, on a tree. Yes, they can put be put on ornaments for your tree. Cards. Like you can embellish the same items and put them on any paper craft. So, all right. I think that's enough. I could put one by the bird, but maybe just one. <laughs> Even though there's three berries, but it's a little much to put three. So put one by the bird. Oh, I just love it. It's all so cute. What about you, little girl? Do you need... I feel like she's all alone now. She doesn't have the bling. We'll see. Do we need to, where can we bling her? Mm, oh, maybe. Could we? Just like right on her scarf. Could put a little bling there. Let me hope I push the play again. My kids are having me edit this so much that, yes, I did. Hello, by the way. Um. Let's see. Oh, maybe we'll do, should we do one right there on the toadstool? Let me do. <laughs> really having fun with enamel dots. I could use the whole lot on just, oh, it's not gonna sit right, but you could hot glue it. Oh, well, do we wanna decorate her tree? Maybe not yet because she's still dragging it, isn't she? I really want to put one on her. I feel like she's all alone. I'm trying to think of where a good place we could put. We could possibly embellish her hat. Yes, 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 yes. Look at how sweet. The other one, the other little girl, she's got um the other little snow girl. She has snowflakes on her hat, so we'll give her. She has some trim, but we'll just deck her out with some enamel dots there so everyone enamel dots for everyone so we've got my favorite thing in the whole collection these little birds i'm absolutely gaga over them all right and of course the snow oh they're so cute like i said in my unboxing video i wish that i had little I wish they would, maybe they have, come out in um, miniature, put them all on a little shelf, like little, little miniature uh, figurines. Oh, I would talk to them because they're so cute. Yes, I would. Let's see. I'm just going to, like, I'm never, like, completely decided. Nope. Nope. Go with the first. Go with the first thought. Okay, so she's gonna go there. Like, I, I'm really pleased. Like, this is all like, um, when you make yours, you know, you'll want to use, if you make a smaller wreath, of course, you would use a smaller, you could then use smaller items and stamp. What I do is, like, these are smaller, the stamps could be used on smaller wreaths. And what I do is I let the paper color my stamps. I, I just always do that because I get really um hung up on shading. So I let the paper shade and color my stamps. So I stamp right onto the pattern paper and it really looks lovely. So you could do that. You could take the stamps on smaller items and 
then cut them out and put them on here too. So I'm very pleased with this. I may, um, so for video, I'm going to glue these on, but there's probably something else that I'll think to add, you know, little, maybe some fishtails coming out here and there. We will see. I might just leave it as is. I'm doing a Christmas swap. It's a private Christmas swap. And I am swapping with a very talented, lovely craft friend. And she is going to be the recipient of this. So I hope she likes it. I'm very excited to gift her this in my swap. She's so appreciative. She's very passionate about paper crafts. Miss Crafty, if you're not following her, I will link her in my description. Definitely give her a follow. She's on Instagram. She also has a blog. She makes the most whimsical items ever. So this is gonna go to her and of course, things that I make for her have to be extra special because she's talented herself. Let's see. I think that's it for the enamel dots. I could probably just bling, bling, just not stop with the bling, but sometimes that's the thing with art is know when you're done. Like you, there's like, it's sort of like a magical thing. It's like, okay, I could add this and I could do this, but just know, like, would it be okay if I just left it like this? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes too much is just too much. And sometimes, a, like, a lot, like, I see people making really chunky, chunky embellishments on Instagram and they just, they do it right, you know, it looks good. Another thing that you can make this wreath with is the decoupage kit. It, like half the sheets or more come with uh, layers. So you build the characters, like I thought of doing that with this wreath too, as, but you know, I can make more. I can use these for Christmas ornaments too but you all your embellishments on the wreath will be 3d with the embellishment kit so let me uh pop another glue stick in and get the last bit of this and then i will <clears throat> probably not take pictures and post them on my instagram i'm going to do chic paper crafts etc on instagram as well it is in my and it's in my about, I believe, for my page here, but I'll link that too in the description. You can give me a follow on there. My Instagram is sort of a mix, as will my uh, YouTube. I'm going to be adding some of my health and wellness. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I started a health and wellness business. It's all natural stuff, so I'll be adding that here and there. So I kind of just mix it in. So you'll see, I try to motivate people because my other love, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat just got all itchy. My other love is, um, you know, exercise, paper crafts and exercise help me get through uh deployments i'm a military spouse so it helps me get through those times you know being a single parent and doing things on my own this is just you know my my therapy my art therapy because who tell you deployments get lonely so we already glued down the mushrooms, so we'll just... So once you have it all laid out, then it's very simple, isn't it? You know, to just pop them, pop them down where you already decided they'll go. And if you have your top piece and your bottom piece on, then it's easy to do your side pieces. Get the reindeer. 
here. Between those two to make it smucky glue. No, I didn't. Smucky is smucky word. Smucky glue. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with these words. Smucky glue. So it's pretty even. You know, and things just, they're cuter if they're a little wonky or a little quirky. My whole thing, my paper craft style is whimsical. So, oh boy, when I saw, like this was a secret for like a couple months before we could even share it. You know, but we got the privilege of seeing what was gonna come. And, woo, when I saw this, I was like, oh, bless my whimsy heart. That is, ex <laughs> that is everything I could ever want. I love Crap Consortium. I, there's, I just love them so much. I just, because their collections are so beautiful. And that's, and the other reason is that they're, that they commission real artists working artists and they turn their artwork into items that we can use and they're just beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. This just speaks to my whimsy heart. So, so that's where my name comes from too because when it comes to paper crafting, I mean, I enjoy all different, I enjoy fine art. I went to school for printmaking, UAF and I didn't. I mean, I don't have a degree, but I have. I, I finished all my, my printmaking classes I, up to advanced printmaking. And I have a love for print. I have an absolute love for print. And I just <clears throat> absolutely love what they come out with. Gorgeous. I mean, it's really quality. Like, all of their stuff, like is quality like their stamps they um <clears throat> they give an amazing uh image so when you press it's like one press you're done you know and then their papers are they just feel good they're like just this amazing silky quality and some of them are even textured and some of them have glossy bits on them so just everything is just high quality, like worth every penny and just absolutely amazing. Like you almost feel bad cutting into them. Like you want to collect them. So, but I have to use them because they're just too cute. They're too cute and they can be um, enjoyed. So absolutely loving this. As you can see, I'm very passionate about the snows. So I will be taking pictures tomorrow when it's daylight. I don't believe even outside that I have enough to take a good daylight pic. So you can go on my Instagram and see those. I also have a Facebook, Women's Chic Paper Crafts on Facebook if you're not in, into Instagram or you use your Facebook more. I'm also on there. So I'll link all my links in the description but I hope you enjoyed this and it was pretty easy. Like I like to make things that are pretty easy to follow. I want some of the paper to show in the background. So I'm not sure if I'll add more things, but I may, I may like, which would be a cute idea is glue a couple of the charms here and there. Yes, that would be really cute. Cause there's also snowflake charms in this collection. I love that you can just like pop these off. Oh yes, oh yes, we might do that. That would be even more, that would be even prettier, wouldn't it? Let's see if I could hide the top bit of the charm. Or if I'm just gonna show the whole thing. You know what? I could put little bows on the top of the charms and then stick them on there, like put twine in the tops of the charm and then stick them on here and there. I'm gonna totally do that. 
I think that will just about do it. Oh yes, oh yes, sister. This, yes, that's exactly what this needed is a couple more charms. See, you by the time you make your wreath, if you make a big one, you'll use, you'll use everything. Oh, so cute. Okay. So cute. How many do I want to put on here? They say that three is three is a charm. But if I do three, could I just get away with three? Like just put three here and there, but then it might be awkward. Like I feel like I need. I could. I could do three. Could even could even tie that one to. You know what? I just want to put them in spaces that I feel like need something. And I think maybe, let's see, maybe the space that, but then they're so low and I, yeah, I could put them here and there. So definitely, I think I'm going to put one on the slide right here because I think that's really cute. And then one here and one here. Maybe one on the tree. Maybe I should put them on things. Ooh, remember I was wondering if I had to put on the shoes. I already got her hat decorated then, didn't she? Let's see. I feel like I really like how it looks on the sled. Isn't that cute? I need to bling the sled out a little more. Maybe. That's the thing is I'll like, I'll throw around ideas and I may just like put some more smaller cutouts in those spaces. That's exactly what I probably, yep, that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna put the snowflake charm, one snowflake charm on my sled because I just absolutely love the way that looks. That is cute, cute, cute. And then these little spaces that I'm gonna go and stick something really small but not overwhelming because like i said you need to know when you're done and you don't get cray cray with your designs oh, i could stick stamped images like i said but i think i'll stick with my own yes i will definitely stick with my cutout sorry for the interruption so I'm just deciding what I want to stick in these last little bits of spaces. I think these will do it. I think I'm gonna put, cut, fussy cut those out and stick them and then I will be done. Like I need to quit. <laughs> you need to know when enough is enough. I'm gonna get my little trusted fussy cut scissors out. So sorry, there will be like a ton of interruptions in this because I'm gonna need to edit a lot out. Just due to kids and me not being able to make up my mind what I want on here. a little mushroom. Yes, we can put that. Let's see where we're going to put that. Here. Here. Now we already have mushrooms there. We'll put the little mushrooms there. And then, I don't, am I going to be able to, maybe I'm just going to cut the birds out because the bow too is going to be really difficult. So that is really, I should really try. Because that is adorable with them. Like, look at how cute that is. Like, the little birds holding 
up ornament in mid flight. I love this artist, the way she thinks. I really do. Mm. I love the way all the artists that design for Craft Consortium. I love the way they think. It's all so whimsical. And it's such a good fit for me, you know? It's like you need to find your niche. And their stuff is such a good fit for me. It like really, it's like dreamy. Like, where have you been all my life? Here you are. Thank you so much for believing in me. I took a big break this summer. I felt really bad because my teammates were just still plugging away. But sometimes you have to take a break. So here, I'm put, oh yes, yes, you sweet little bird. And then, what? I feel like I need to do something different in all the spaces. And then what else do I got? I'm sure I'll find something. I don't want to cut any more into my... I don't want to cut into the front cover yet. I'm sure it's not ready. Such a lovely front cover. Let's see. What could I put? Maybe... Maybe I could... See, you don't have to use all of an image. Like, you could totally, like... If you like something on an image like this, this is how I think, like... Well, I don't have room for all of this, but I could totally cut this bit out, right? I could even, you know, and I don't have room for the sweet little bird, which really makes the package. I can put, and even that, you know? Okay, so I don't have room for all of those packages, but I could take this package out. This is how I think when I fussy cut. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll put that. That's a sweet little package, isn't it? We could even... Ooh, is there a space for more enamel dogs? What? I think so. Yes, there is. Okay, so we can put an enamel dot on that. The mushroom there and the little birdie there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So cute. Okay, so I think I'm going to put, um, because these are such small items, I'm going to give them a little lift with some foam tape. I didn't need to do it on all of my cutaways, but I didn't do it on my stomach. I can't really tell. Because I decided to use the rosette after the fact to raise my items a little hot glue because foam tape is awesome on a flat surface, but it can sometimes give way if later if it's not a flat surface. I'm just gonna give it that hot glue. Oh, no. No hot glue, be good with hot glue. Oh, come on. You silly goo. All right. Oh. Okay, I'll pick at that later. It's not a big thing. And then my little bird. Then Let's try not to get too goo. Silly goo on the bird. I wanted him or her. Him or her to be flying upward. Glue. Well, it's not the only thing that drives me bonkers about hot glue. It's also the fact that it burns really badly and it's ouchy. Okay, so that's the bird. That's right. I took the bird I took off the package. Do I want to add him to my sleigh? 
I keep calling them hymns, it could be girls. Okay, and then I did want to put a charm on my machine with, but I need like a little, um, I feel like I need some twine. What kind of twine? I just, I got some white right here, so I'll just go with white. I use, uh, I like crochet twine. It's just a really good quality. So, that's what I use. I am going to, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to punch a hole. Yep, I don't know if I can. Can I? Look at that. That's goofy. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to punch a hole right up under. Please go in the right place. Please do as you're... Alright, perfect. So I'm gonna put <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a little messy here. This is what happens. Like who doesn't like I don't know anybody who doesn't like isn't really creative that paper crafts that doesn't make a mess like a crazy mess. Comment if you make a crazy mess like me. I mean even celebrity crafters. I'll post pictures of their messy desk like Tim Holtz. I once saw him post his messy desk. Thought that was funny because we can all relate, right? Us crafty creatives. All right, so now the tricky part. <laughs> How to do this? Did I want to, how am I gonna do this? I'm just gonna tie this on. I'm going to go ahead and tie this on somehow. I'm going to tie that on. One, two, three. I think I do want a bow on this just to make it even cuter because bows are whimsy and aren't they? And they're cute. Okay, oh, it has to be. I always felt like I had really large hands for a female. <laughs> they're not as big as my husband, so I'm doing good there. Okay, so I'm Snip it a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. That's cute. I like that. That's perfect. Okay, I am done now. I have all my little. Oh, there was a place here. It wasn't there. I was thinking a player. Well, I guess I could put the bird. Another bird. <laughs> I do love these birds. I could. I could put another bird. And I threw my packages off to the side. I could put the bird on a package on this side. Let's see what that would look like. Let's see. I'll put the bird here. Eh, not so much. Not so much. What else do I have? I have stuff on the side, but I've got, I made quite a mess. No. All oh, my things are lost in it's a good blissful mess though. Some yummy blissful mess of snows. Have a snow mess any day. Oh, oh look at how sweet with her holding those. What could we put there? Could we put another mushroom? We could. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna take your mushroom, little snow. I'm sorry, I gotta take it. I gotta go it. Right. It's gonna go right there. Okay. Alrighty. And that's gonna go there.
really this collection that I love. I'm, um, I celebrate Christmas, but whatever your holiday, however you celebrate the holidays, you can enjoy these. Unless you're just a total Scrooge Grinch, anyone can enjoy snows. any time of year because they're just cute they're just cute absolutely adorable okay so there it is that's it <laughs> I don't know I think I'm done I mean I could keep going but I think I might you know I think that's enough I think I'm really pleased and I'm gonna call it call it a what do I say what do you say call it a what do I say? I'll call it when you're talking about like you're done. I'll call it a day. <laughs> I'm not calling it a day, um, but done. So adorable. Try to let it focus in up close, and I will be posting pictures, really pretty pictures, to my Instagram in the daylight. It's getting more dusky and I can't do it now. But go check me out on Facebook and Instagram and if you like this video, sorry for all the interruptions, but if you enjoyed it, please give me a like, a follow, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, Michelle.